Warning, this video contains clips and excerpts of a humorous nature not normally found in math class. These are intended to fight the adolescent condition known as short attention span, found heavily in the modern teen, especially when in school. The only thing you should attempt at home is the math. The rest, you just laugh at. Welcome back to another installment of AT Math. Today, we have 3-3, solving inequalities by multiplying or dividing. Why, it's going to be more fun than trying to gargle baking soda and vinegar. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, well, I'm sure he's fine. Uh, do I need to tell you not to try that at home? Don't try it at home. Okay, so back to solving inequalities by multiplying and dividing. It was the same as 3, 1, and 3, 2, but when you have a negative variable, there is one difference. If you notice here, I have negative 2x is greater than 8. Well, the obvious answer, instead of times negative 2, is divide by negative 2, which is true. If you divide by one side, of course, you divide by the other. So we did that. This, of course, clears x by itself, but 8 divided by negative 2 becomes negative 4, which I'll need to make that a negative. Uh, for reasons though well, I can explain it to you. Basically, because we're making it from a positive to a negative, you're switching. You're switching from one side to the other, so the sign has to switch to follow it. So in this case here, it was a greater than, but now it becomes a less than. As this became positive, now it becomes a negative. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next page. Example number two. We have negative 12x is greater than negative 84. So instead of times negative 12, we're going to divide by negative 12, divide negative 12 on this side, divide negative 12 on this side. And once again, for reasons I can't tell you why, I don't have a negative there, but I do now. So the answer should be x is less than negative 7 because I had to switch the sign. Now you try. Go ahead. Pause. All right. This time I don't even have a you try written down, so let me go ahead and divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and I get x over here, negative over here, sign switches from greater than to less than. And there you have it. Since you are AT, though, why don't you try an AT size problem? You go ahead. Pause. Hopefully you pause. Let's take a look. Divide by negative 35. Divide by negative 35. Let me grab my trusted calculator here. Let's see. I get 2100 divided by 35. I get 60. Now, by the way, why didn't I even do the negatives? Because I knew that two negatives make a positive, so why bother? And from greater than becomes less than. Now, you might say, wait a minute. If there's two negatives, does it switch back? The answer is no. If it's a negative on the x and you get rid of it, you switch it once. That's it. Next page. Another AT size example. So you go ahead. Negative 37x is greater than negative 223,100. You go ahead. Well, I do it here. Let's see. I get 6,029.72. Did you get it as well? I bet I got it first. Maybe not. Either way, that's the answer I get. And you would have x is less than that. So you have that there. Another AT size example. Go ahead and try again. Negative 3,734. x is greater than negative 22. And go ahead and try. See what you get. Now, in this case here, did you get the following? X is less than, because you have to switch the sign, 5, 8, 9, let's see, 0.00. I'm getting 0 0.00589, and that becomes a positive, because two negatives make a positive. The sign switches. Now, if you had something like, if you had this, 3734 divided by 22, if you got 169, it's because you took this divided by this. But remember, you have to divide this by negative 3734. Top divided by bottom. Don't let your brain trick you. It should be a decimal. Let's combine the two ideas now. So we have 24 is greater than negative, uh, negative 2x. 
So first I'm going to divide by negative 2. Well, all right. I go ahead and divide by negative 2 to both sides. Sweet. So I get negative 12. This becomes normal x. This has to switch. But now I want x on the other side. So here's what you do. You take x and flip it to this side. That means this has to flip to this side. And the sign flips once again. Now notice how you went from a greater than to a less than back to a greater than. Why? Well, you had a negative x, so you had to switch once. X was on the wrong side, you switched the sign twice. So it is possible to switch it back to its original. Notice how 24 is greater than negative 2x, x is greater than negative 12. When you are done, there is still a greater sign. We just talked about that. But much like when you play Uno, like I'm saying here, if the deck's going this way, you hit a reverse card, boom, it goes this way. But if you hit another reverse card, boom, it goes back into the original direction. So two reverse cards mean the original direction, just like two negatives make a positive. Two sign switches make the original sign, etc., etc. Now let's try another. You guys go, well, yes, you can see it here. Let's drop it down. You go ahead and give it a try. Pause. We'll see what you got. Instead of times negative 4, we divide by negative 4, divide negative 4 here, divide negative 4 here, as you have as, as follows. I get 60 is less than x, switch, switch. Switch the less than to the greater than sign, so I switch it back to x is less than 60. Now you try. Negative 5,000 is greater than negative 8x. Go ahead. Hope you had paused it. Let's see what I get. I divide both sides by negative 8, divide by negative 8. Eh, I could do it in my head, but I'll just do it with my calculator just to be sure. And I get 625. So since two negatives make a positive, it's going to be positive 625. Sign switches. Switches back. So it gets back to a greater than sign. So x is greater than 625. Now why is that? Well, let's take x as 1,000. Well, if we took x as 1,000, just an example, if I want something bigger than 625 to prove my theory, take 1,000 in, negative 8 times 1,000 is negative 8,000. So the question is, is negative 5,000 greater than negative 8,000? The answer is yes, because it's better to owe a small amount than a big amount. Moving on. You try again. Negative 200 is greater than negative 800x. Go ahead. Pause. Let's see what you got. Divide both sides by negative 800. Negative 800. Two negatives make a positive. Sign switches. This becomes one fourth. This becomes x switch switch. I get x switches back one fourth. At. You try again. Go ahead. These cancel out. Oh boy, two negatives make a positive, I knew that. But 2.2 .2 divided by 832, I'm getting, oh boy, 264, I'm getting 0 .00, let's see if that's right here, 1, 2, 3, that's about right, 0 .00264 is greater than x, but I had to switch the sign because it's negative. But then I'm going to switch it back. So x is still greater than this whole mess. You can see why you don't want to write with the mouse, because it's very messy. All right. Now, we must address fractions. Let us start with a with an equal sign. Before you say fractions, I know how much you like fractions. About as much as this guy. Hey, sheep, what do you think of fractions? <laughs> Apparently the sheep wasn't too happy with them either, but we'll see it through. So negative 2 over 3, x equals 12. So the first thing I want you to do instead of times 3, is to divide by 3 is times 3. Why? Because remember, a fraction is top divided by bottom. Well, if you're already dividing by 3, we have to times by 3 to make it go away. So I times 3 here, if you notice. Times 3, times 3. The times 3 and divide cancel out, leaving negative 2 and x still. 12 times 3 makes 36, so really it's still negative 2x equals 36. Now, instead of times negative 2, we're going to divide negative 2. Divide negative 2 to one side, divide negative 2 to the other. And you get x equals negative 18. Now, with an inequality, 
negative 2 over 3x is greater than 18. The first stop, instead of divide by 3, times by 3, times 3 to one side, times 3 to the other. Get rid of this, which makes negative 2x is greater than, ooh, 18 times 3, I think, is 54, I'm pretty sure. Since we are multiplying by a positive 3, we don't switch the sign yet. There's no sign switching yet. Now, I know you get confused. Well, you're going to switch it one time. So really, I don't care if you switch it early or late. I don't until I move that negative 2. That's just me. Now I divide by negative 2. Now the sign will switch from greater than to less than. So x is less than negative 27. You try. Go ahead. Pause. And you're back. So let's go ahead and times 5 to both sides. And I cancel here. I get negative 3x. Still greater than for now. 900. Now instead of times 3, divide by, excuse me, instead of times by negative 3, divide by negative 3 to both sides. So I get negative 300. Sign switches from greater than to less than. All right, now you can follow along on page 182, example 3 if you like. Ryan has a $16 gift card for a health store where a smoothie costs $2.50 with tax. What are the possible numbers of smoothie that Ryan can buy? Well, first we look at a maximum use. So in other words, the uh, maximum we're going to have is this here. Because we're saying maximum, you have to have a less than or greater than sign. Just that simple. From there, we can have 16 or less. So we put less or equal to 16. Because you can use $16 or you can use less. You know, I know that some people your age have a hard time understanding that you don't have to spend every single dollar in your pocket the minute you got it. But it's true. You can't actually keep a few dollars in your pocket for a few more days. It won't hurt you at all. Now, less or equal to 16. And since smoothies cost 250 each, and I don't know how many I'm going to buy, I'll put 2.5x, meaning, well, if I buy 0, it's 0. If I buy 1, it's 250. 2 is $5. But the point is, each smoothie is $2.50. So 250x is less or equal to 16. Now, all you got to do instead of times 2.5 is divide. Divide on one side, divide on the other. And x is less or equal to 6.4. So you can get 6.4 smoothies, which would be probably make you sick. All right, well, we're done for the day. Thank you again. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.